Just in general, though, Mally, uh, Chio Vera fight. Uh, you guys did say that you were interested in the fight. I wanted to get your guys' official picks, what you think is going to happen in the baby. fight. Uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, start off here as far as, like, I do think that Sean O'Malley's going to probably win this one. Uh, we've already had this conversation a few times. I get that this fight had to happen, but I do feel like this fight's a little bit of a reach. Um, I wonder how much of this is the UFC not having faith that they're going to be able to make this fight in the future. Cause I think there's other fights that just made more sense in the weight class, uh, personally, and just that are just more exciting. Cheeto Vera, uh, did he lose his last fight or was it the fight before that? And I'll pull it up here in a second. Oh, yeah, he I lost know, to Cody Shanahan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I mean, really got, I don't ex remember exactly how that fight went, but I Cody know. Cody Shanahan tore his bicep and then crawled on him and wrestled him late on the whole time. Okay. Yeah. I, I was pretty yeah. sure that he got dominated there. I just wasn't That's impressed. Yeah. So that was one of he the, to, yeah. that was one of the last things in my mind from Cheeto. So for me, just from like a competitive standpoint, and where Sean's, like Sean got right back on top, and then he's been as hot as he's ever been, coming off an Aljamain Sterling win that. You know, we were going into that fight. I know we were definitely nervous. Uh, we wanted to see Sean O'Malley win that fight, but at the same time, Aljamain was a great champion, one of the greatest ever. Yeah, just so. a 176 pound fucking animal. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I mean, does exactly what she would have thought he would be able to take advantage of with Sean O'Malley. But Sean O'Malley proved what he said that he's been saying it's like people can't get their hands on me and so on and so forth. Yeah. So uh, the but same it, reason why this like great. Henry Cejudo fight, they've been trying to make that happen, but I feel like they've been, they've had a little bit more integrity with that. They've had, they've made Henry that go, fight's gonna go deep water and fight. Uh, well, they've made him fight and he's lost. He lost his uh, last fight. What the fuck was that? Was that Marab? Marab yeah. Marab so he lost to Marab. Lost him around. That was crazy. Him. Yeah. It was crazy. Oh, dominated him. Um, but at least made him go back and earn it with this Cheeto fight. It just feels weird. It feels like it's not really earned. I know it's supposed to happen because this is Sean's only loss. And I know this is what Sean wanted to avenge that loss. But, you know, just from what we've seen in the past, aside from their fight where Cheeto did win, um, it just doesn't seem like it's going to be particularly. Uh, O'Malley will finish at 30 seconds left in the second. No, nah, dude, I I don't think. Well, you know, you know whatever. There's some video going around. Sterling, there's a clip right of him now. saying how he heard through the grapevine how Cheetos had a bad uh, has had a bad camp or whatever. Yeah. So whoever, whatever that entails, you know what I mean. But yeah, I think I think it's gonna be closer to like a Peter Yan fight. Than a fucking, oh yeah, that was another one that was super surprising. Like we were expecting yeah, their real tests. For Sean, there. I was I was really nervous that fight. Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, <laughs> well, that me, was his very first. For me, so that was, and Aljamain, both of those, it looked like he was going into I those. Actually, I just knew he was gonna knock out. Yeah, well, well for, I just have to good faith. Yeah, but um, the, he's just been like I said, it's he's overcome some fights where yeah. I was nervous. Now he's a champion, and now going into this, this is like it seems like a huge. Um, I don't know. This is a huge decrease compared to the hype of those last fights, the nervousness that I had going into those last fights. And he lost to this guy. Yeah. Before. yeah. That's what's crazy. Yeah. And, you know what and, I mean? like, and, and, well, and and I really know. think he, ha he has the, the right mind, the right type of mindset. You ask him. Yeah. It, like he has the right type of mindset when it comes to fights and shit. Like, like I think that, uh, to his camp, to his training, uh, another guy who smokes while he trains. Yeah. And it's surprised, not surprisingly anymore, but it's like fantastic. Um, but uh, yeah, I, th I think that breaking down barriers, but he's gonna be able to yeah. pull the shit off. No, I and the thing is, I think that that's I, I would like to see the betting odds. I might pull that up here in a second. Let me share this. this O'Malley's a favorite, I think he's like plus two something. Okay, so it's like this, he's, or, gonna, or, he's gonna or, land or, a lot no, of strikes. I lied, you, I lied, you, I lied you. It's not plus, plus underdog, but he's like minus two something. This fight doesn't even feel as close as like uh, who's um, Dustin Poirier. Um versus uh yeah. Saint Nuance. Do that fight. Yeah, <laughs> like that fight seems way more scary. Like, you know, the fights, and we've watched enough UFC fights where I've had this experience with you, where you're literally on your edge of your seat because you're like, you know, anytime either of these guys touches each other, this fight could be the over. Next uh -huh. week, like, and like, and like in the most uh -huh. and like in the most devastating way. So it's like like the Sean O'Malley fight, I just don't feel that same kind of like fear going into it. So that just takes away from the story. You don't know how many title defenses he's even gonna have. So and with Sean O'Malley, part of the like on his come up, the the, the view was that the UFC was kind of protecting him a little bit. Yeah. So this kind of still this feels like that. This feels like this. Well, the man. last the last two fights after what he's overcome, I'm like I really want to see like what Sean O'Malley really. One thing really I noticed through. early like, in his career, and I actually yeah. fucked with him. I actually was like, damn, I kind of fucked with Sean. He's very very smart with with this. Yeah. After his injury, his broken foot, and he came back and he had like reclimb. He probably had like I think he had like fucking. 
four or five fights left on his uh, contract, however many. I'm pretty, much, pretty, I'm pretty sure they're signing like eight fight contracts, or whatever. Yeah. But then the rest of his fights, he was fighting fucking like low. I mean, I, was, I feel like UFC was cherry picking his fights, but but he, he wasn't really. But risking. he yeah. came yeah, out back. publicly. He, was, he came out publicly and said how like he wants bigger fights, but but yeah. but the issue was a lot of guys weren't accepting fights. Like they were sending offers out, and guys weren't accepting fights. Right. Yeah. So and it's like and I get for both. Sean? Yeah. And, and and again, and it's because the guy was a knockout artist in his first few fights. Yeah, at lower competition. And now he's he's fighting you know, closer to the to the tougher he's competition. Still knocking, still knocking bitches out, but it's a yeah. little tougher. But dude, that's what I'm saying. Dude, he's such a great boxer. Yeah. Like, like he's he's a good boxer. Well, dude. he's somebody that you watch and he looks different than the other fighters. He has his own style, he's so athletic. Mm -hmm. Um He's exciting. Yeah. He's exciting. So he's that's a, why dude, he's, he's this good. fight just feels like a rehash of something that I feel like we could have seen if the UFC had faith in Cheeto. Let Cheeto go through and beat some of these guys towards the top and actually earn the fight. Do you want to see fight. him win win uh, yeah. a game? Yeah, uh, but I think like he's... a game, a match through uh, like ground. Like, like at all, or do, or do you Shoot. not care? Sean O'Malley? Yeah, Sean O'Malley. I'd love for him to just keep on knocking. I think out that'll be a later, later, uh, game, like later card pulled in this game, mm -hmm. in a in a more like, I don't know, I say it's like a third or fourth title defense. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like he's probably gonna try to get as many KOs. That's what he wants. You know, it's a knockout of, record, huh? Yeah, um, Gino has the record for most KOs in bantamweight right now. That's crazy. Oh, wow, that's so nice. I didn't know, you know that. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what uh. Sean O'Malley said in the interview today, but he has nice. like the most knockouts. He has a crazy amount, but you know, who knows? He might be chasing that or whatever. You know what I mean? I mean, me personally, it looks cooler to knock you out. It's better highlight. I'm not really, I love, to, yeah. I'm not best, really trying yeah, to wrestle like around with you fucking 25 favorite, minutes and, you know, whatever. I've been told, remember, Chino, I, Chino's a good uh, sub artist, so I'm not really trying to, you know, see, give him a chance to I'm just out. asking because I've been told that, that this style cannot, cannot win. In the UFC sustainably, which I well, that, that, that was Connor, and then and then you have yeah. him. So so I was just asking, like no, like like like, fight. Maybe like, not. like, no. like like do you think that he has to show that he can do that? Like yeah, I mean, well, if he fights is, Ilya, he has to be with like like like, like I I don't think he'll ever he'll ever be a great jujitsu artist, but yeah. at least well, or at least be wrestling at, at some, at something. I will say, but with him and like I said, when you watch him, he's athletic enough. You could him. you could just watch him and tell that the way that his athleticism is on a different level than yeah. the average UFC fighter. So yeah. if he's a great if, athlete, if he is going to make it where you can't really consistently get a hold of him, which Fair. he has been able to do, like he did that to Aljamain, like that's crazy. That's a pretty high a level. Forty three percent takedown defense was pretty good. That's yeah. a, that that is really good. And, yeah. and no, I mean, yeah. and it, he has said for like I mean, it's probably been years now because I followed him for years now. I've heard him talk a lot about his jujitsu, so I think he's definitely drilling that, and he's oh, confident maybe, with it. Yeah. And maybe a little if, secret if, weapon if he hasn't had to use yet. Well, exactly, well yeah. and, and if he's not winning with that, I think he feels confident to where if he gets put in a position to where he has to defend in that position, yeah, he's, he's confident. And like and he, he said before, he had a lot of amateur fights in fucking uh, where's he from? Wyoming or whatever, yeah, wherever he's from. And you know, what I mean, like sure. if you knock out twenty dudes, you're you're walking around this motherfucker like, yo, I'm. The shit, like Yo, you know what I'm no, saying? Bro, like, he, he you're has definitely just trying to that right hand. That Montana, feeling of knocking bro, he, someone out is like a high. Motherfucker you know, has, a, you know has some stones in that right Montana, hand. Montana, by the way. Montana, yeah, yeah, Montana. He, and he's 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 good. So he just, I, you know, it's just like knocking people out. Yeah. Well, I mean, and when you're building, and knows I love the style. Or finish, when you're so. building that resume or that legacy or whatever like think about how we feel about like mike tyson and stuff like that the knockout so yeah. i'm sure he wants to yeah. go in and build that for sure and, and, and conor mcgregor for yeah. that matter and yeah. also and, what and, he and, says yeah. is, is he's a prize fighter you yeah know yeah, I mean? yeah no he John says that yeah Jones, John he's, Jones he does it for the show he baby speaks as if and he yeah. says it i'm best mixed martial artist to ever walk Bro, John Jones is that's how that's his mindset he's the best martial artist he will mix in whatever he has to do yeah you know, I I thought the whole like taking down surreal game was lame, but then I realized I was like, there's nothing more crazier than just manhandling somebody That's and, like really than choking you. them out. Well, his last fight at heavyweight where he just goes heavyweight and then just dominates on yeah, the at like, first I was like, like bro, that, lame, that, that, no, like, that was the most impressive really about it, like, bro. That was the most impressive fight I've ever seen in my fucking life. Like he didn't have to bro. Fight. I laughed. He didn't have to I, I laughed. I'm just yeah. like, I'm like, this motherfucker would. He would come out and just like, you know what? Watch I, I'm gonna come to heavyweight. Show you that I'm the baddest motherfucker ever. Yeah. Just choke him out, go to sleep, and really, then any, walk out. Really, bro. any way he finished it, see if ya. he finished it in that amount of time, it bro, was like, what the see fuck? Ya. That uh, was, undo. that was unbelievable. But, uh, but also, 
Yeah. My bad. No, I ahead. think I think this Cheeto fight. I don't know. I think Sean and his team or whoever, right? Whoever's just kind of planning this shit out, you know, is really smart with their shit. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the story with Cheeto, the only loss for O'Malley is Cheeto. Yeah, yeah. So for I think that's why the, the they defense, wanted it to happen. The defense for it's big for his legacy. I yeah. mean, I mean, fuck, I fuck with that. You know what I mean? Like, fuck damn, yeah. my first defense. Best I ever. have to defend it to not continue. Yet, but, Why yeah. should I not try to be the person who took maybe my own? You could have done that before you became champion. Like that's the show but, you should have been to, took care of, bro. But, but he had. But you also don't control that. Yeah, you also don't control that shit. Yeah. But also well, sure the, he does. the what matchmaking. Do he has he has it a is, lot of say is, over that. Is, if he, he does, wanted to he fight, does, if he, he wanted to fight, if he wanted to he fight Cheeto Vera, because he asked for it. Yeah, if he wanted to fight Cheeto Vera, it would have been a big fight without the championship involved. I don't even really feel like that's my thing. This fight doesn't feel any bigger because there's a title in the weight because it doesn't feel like Cheeto really earned it like that, in my opinion. He, right, right. he, he did lose his fight. So he, he won his last fight. I wanted to clear that up because I went and looked that up. And oh, y'all yeah, saw Pedro, it. Pedro, right, Pedro, right, right, Pedro. Right, yeah. so, uh, but that fight, honestly, right. was kind of boring, if I remember. The same card as uh, O'Malley. I okay, remember. so yeah, this is this has kind of been in the cards, oh, yeah. I think. I think they had an idea what but, they want to do. But, um, but yeah, I, I think this... Like he's ranked number five right now. Let oh, me yeah. go check real quick. I think go this ahead. fight amps up the Marab fight more because it's That's like, well, after like what Marab did, yeah. Well, also yeah, because it's, it's also crazy. Marab is kind of on his shit with his whole fucking media shit with the whatever. But yeah, the people, the the fact that you can you get people to comment and kind of just keep the conversation like, hey, bro, you're ducking so and so, or hey, so and so does this, or then it's like, you know, Bilal Bil- Muhammad finally got his fucking title shot because of the fucking internet. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Not for 100 percent And I think that uh uh you are right that it builds it up in the way where um like I said, Barab went, he beat, he destroyed uh and that makes Henry you even Cejudo. Want to see so, it now yeah. more. You're like, damn, yeah, that's fair. he fucking did that to Henry. So technically so he's gonna do that to Momelli. And, and I mean the Henry Cejudo, I'll be honest, before Henry Cejudo fought Barab, if you wouldn't have made that fight, I probably would have been more excited for O'Malley. Cejudo fight than I am for a Cheeto. I'm not big on people retiring coming back. Stay the fuck home. Yeah, yeah. but I wanted to. Well, don't don't click on it, brother, because I'm just. Oh, just kidding, John Jones. Just Uh, kidding, John Jones. Come back. Oh, just kidding. Uh, But so Marab is the uh, number one ranked, number one contender, band away. That's most likely happening next. After that, which which that's I'm sorry. You're good. How like is that the fight that if you're O'Malley you fear the most is Marab? Oh yeah, I think so. Now and especially uh, Styles. Oh, yeah, he's a complete fighter. He's a monster. Yeah, I mean, dude, any fucking. No, nah, but what? Rob's different, brother. I would come love on. to. No, he is. No, that, that, that's what I'm saying. Well, I'm talking to Bills right oh. here because he's just like, oh man, I'll fight. Come on, man. No, no, not me. I'm just saying it's like <laughs> the wrestling and like I would hate to fight a fucking wrestler in general. Like I just, yeah. I but don't want to do, do you. It. But I would do you? But do, do you it. shoot someone that's as like? Like how often do you huh? shoot someone that's as great of a boxer? As O'Malley, because again, you're you're trained oh, to oh, you're shoot, trained shoot. to hit angles. Uh, so when you shoot, you're really leaving yourself to be the ability yeah, to be to caught. Need elbow. Pause. And someone someone that's as great of a striker as O'Malley, like like I feel like his defense. That's why his defense is so great. So if they but, but piece, if he gets down, if but if O'Malley hands, gets on the ground, then that's where it's like, ah, does he okay, have a chance? Oh, bro! First of all, you can't pin me and win in the UFC. You can sub me or knock me out or. Get enough points to win by decision, whatever, right? Whatever decision split or unanimous, whatever. Or if I DQ, right? But but we've so, seen the. I'm you sorry. can wrestle me for fucking twenty minutes, like they like to do. But we've know? seen those fights where 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 the great striker had no chance to ever really establish yeah. a control because right. he's just down on the mat yeah, yeah, no yeah. matter what. And then yeah, it's it's a five round bore fest, and then the, then it's a it's a unanimous decision. Yeah, but that could have happened with uh, Aljamain. So I think with uh, Sean O'Malley, at least for now, while he has the level of athleticism that he does, which is freakish, freakish. when you talk about ufc mm-hmm. um because i mean we've even heard like like i've heard joe rogan and stuff like that talk about a lot of times if you had like the level of athlete that goes to like the nba or nfl yeah. in the ufc and like train in that their entire life it would be completely different which game. they said which o'malley is like happen. that athletic and at some point well, in some point yes. that will yeah, happen yeah. Yeah. yeah and his recovery and the and the specific dietary and um training for his sport on my yeah. on my life yeah. if they did that well i and, think that's why the pis are so important though yeah well in here i just want to look because this is in my opinion really impressive i want to see your guys that's why it was here. pretty crazy to kind of see them football players come in and just fucking looking shredded and shit you know what i mean yeah. it's like they've only been five for five years kind of get whooped but it's like they're hanging in with the fucking but the thing is is as, as ufc becomes more popular you'll have people that maybe in the past would have went towards football, football that are going to grow up yeah. wanting to train in yeah. martial arts yeah, and facts. UFC and stuff. And, or people and, who and, fucking and get Instead big, of being a, a bench rider in football, yeah. they'll be a fucking but, great fighter. Dude, yeah. yeah. 
I, I mean, I didn't I, I, really I, I, yeah. I wish I wouldn't have looked at like certain shit like uh Walker I need to I need to get in the NFL or NBA to be uh or I need to play basketball to be in the NFL or NBA. Motherfucker, hey bro, you like basketball? You wanna go to college? Bro, get good enough to go play for fucking some shit ass community college. You can get free yeah, fucking turkey. a free ride. Oh, there we turkey. go. If you if you ain't making no money in NBA, go overseas and play, bro. If I would have known shit like this, like the yeah. opportunities for different, like okay, so like you're saying now, we're bigger now, than just yeah. Now there's UFC, yeah. bro. You could be fucking getting free meals, free training, being a big ass um, football player, yeah, or whatever. Dude. Knowing that you might not go to the NFL, but then boom, you got all that training and that fucking athleticism and body. But yeah. now you're like, boom, I'm gonna pop out and go do some fighting. So here, wow, because this audience yeah. can see this yeah, right here. Type of wrestling back. Marab's last one, two, oh, three, oh. four, four fights is Marlon Marias. He beat knocked out. He beat unanimous decision Jose Aldo. He beat unanimous uh, unanimous decision Peter Yan, and then he beat. Yeah, he's beating one, two. I'm um, high as fuck. Trying sure. to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three former champions the last three fights. That's yeah. crazy. And Marlon hey, Marlon Mar- 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 dog. So it's like. That is what I mean. When you're he's now, earned, he's earned now this the guy, fight. The yeah. guy that's getting the title shot has beat. And he beat, but, got the but most legit come up fight. Uh, but when, he literally did, when yeah. did didn't he just fight Combat recently though? Shit, yeah. When, when was his last fight? When, when uh, was his last? last his last is recent. Like February seventeenth. Yeah. Actually yeah so so race. so even I, before so, that he beat Peter Young. But 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 that might be why this fight's happening is because. Is because the, he was already scheduled hey, to fight, so you know, yeah, O'Malley the UFC, let the O'Malley choice. get this out of the way. The UFC didn't have to I, do that. I, 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 <laughs> I, I get what you're saying, but 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 <laughs> let O'Malley get this out of the way, and then we'll go ahead and yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think that is the. I think that is it. Generate and a little think, bit more excitement. And I, I mean, bro, that, it's just more excitement. And I think the UFC views this fight. That's why I, I hate it. I think the UFC views oh. this fight with Cheeto as a safe fight, honestly, for their champion. And I well, think that they're already. Facts you say that, right? Yeah, they're, they're probably already, fight again during like what September? Nah, 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 Marab and him will oh, fight probably oh, around oh, September. Know, probably, maybe. maybe, maybe yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah the healing. Be. But uh, I definitely Memorial said that shit too, right? I'm like, yo, there's a couple fights that are like indefinite. That uh for Sean O'Malley where he has to either knock him out or he might actually get finished. And I was like, dude, they're kind of giving him Cheeto because if it goes the same Peter Peter, if any fight goes to Peter the way uh the fight did for Peter Yon, or for him and Peter Yon, O'Malley's taking that dub every time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's that's fair. Every single time. Well, he, Peter Yon's been fucked up after after really the Aljo fight, but um he's been he's but lost his last like I'm, four. Well, okay, well, let me just say this: if I think if O'Malley can uh, survive five rounds with anybody. I believe he takes the fucking dough. Mm. I don't know. I can off, see. Off I can see Marab beating him. What? I can, not just because. Not just what they want. If he doesn't if, get finished. If, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. I, oh. I, 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 I can see Marab right, beating him though. From, from 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 a from a yeah, game plan like that. From a game plan standpoint, I can see like what you're talking about, where somebody neutralizes a striker. I I think Marab has that kind of like. Uh, if, ability. If, so. if if their fight goes five, Rob's winning that bitch also, because because he's going to slow that fight down I way too much. They, they you know they keep putting off for Rob because O'Malley has been working on his wrestling, and then the more time you get, the more time. But you there's get. working on so wrestling, like, and then there's being a great wrestler. Like like yes and no. I, I think his athleticism helps him a lot, and especially his length when it comes to to, to the takedowns and wrestling. Henry, but Sinhalo I don't know, bro. DC are Olympian wrestlers, dog. Yes, they got the belt, but they also got their ass whooped. What? Like who cares? No, I get that. Damn. Yeah, I, I, I'm not saying it's impossible. So, okay. so I cares? believe in boxing and and, and fighting. Like I think that if, if you if you master the art of boxing and fighting, you you have the upper hand because you can punch at you all know, angles. You know what I'll give? And, you know and that's where I, I like O'Malley. You know where I'll give wrestling props? Umar Nagamedov almost got his ass knocked the fuck out that first round by that fucking fucking that new that random guy, bro. But he said he said in his post, you know, he's like, oh, they're like, oh, he got you real good. And he's like, yeah, I don't know what happened. He's like, I just woke up. I was on his leg. 